My next call is to Lucinda. Christ, you look like shit. Let me explain. My name is Willem Wallace. I know, I know. And this is a prick called Dougie Anderson. We both work for a bitch called Lucinda Morton Smythe of Smythe, Hammersley, Ibsen and Tanaka, a multinational. Anywho, she'd like us to get on the wire and convince this guy, John Rohde, to sell his turn to us, or her. <coughs> anyway, how hard could it be, right? <laughs> Jesus. No, where were we? Oh, that's right. He should have called by now, right? Come your farm, dickhead. He'll call. Are you drinking? Fuck yeah. Have you spoken to him? I can't have you inebriated for this. It's important. Thanks, Mum. Now shut your cake hole. Wait. Now shut the fuck up and follow my lead. Hang on, I'm the senior. Hey there, buddy. Great to see you again, mate. Yeah. So, Rowdy, meet Dougie. Anderson. Just call me Douglas. Vice President, Smythe, Hammersley, Ibsen, and Tanaka. So, why exactly do they call you Rowdy? Well, it is my name. Okay. Rowdy. Your town has a very interesting name also, doesn't it? Yep, it does. Well, all of us here at head office are really wondering, what does it mean? Banjamabamup means kangaroos near running water. Kangaroos running on water? Is that real? Dougie, it's no joke. It's Aboriginal. Yeah. Let's get this started. As mandated by you, we've developed an intensive overview of the entire situation. Living the values of both the stakeholders and the potential clients. And it's this intensive pre-preparation that sets us apart from the others and prepares us for this kind of project. To be perfectly blunt with you, John, this is a major fear of tone. Yeah, and for you lot as well. And clearly, this mutual 360 degree worldview ramifies all that we do next for the people of Bangaranjamup. 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 Exactly. Rody, how's this sitting with you? Sounds bloody complicated. Now, Rowdy. You've got to keep an open mind, because this is important Mate, for everyone. Let's cut the crap. William. No, Doug, I've got to say this. My father was a farmer. And I could have been a father too. But the world had other plans for me. I knew that I could facilitate. No. No. Champion. Power to the people. Like you. Power to you. Rowdy, how is that sitting with you? Listen, guys, I've uh, got to go and um, powder my nose. Put a bit of lippy on me. It'll make you feel better. Use a bloody phone. What the hell does that mean? It means you're fucked up, you fucking fuck. Me? You're the shit face, shit for brain, shithead. <laughs> you were supposed to be out there holding Rowdy's hand for this goddamn meeting. Jesus, this whole thing's going to pieces. Hey, pull it together. If we don't get this right, let's easily come down and fuck us both in the ass. You think I don't know that, you stupid Welsh asshole? I'm not from Wales, you dickhead. I'm from Scotland. Your mother knows that I'm from Scotland. No mothers, you motherfucker. Anyways, I would have had this deal signed already if you weren't hung over. Oh, you think so, do you? I'm a vice president. You're the vice president of the fucking dick because your fucking tongue's so far up Lucinda's ass you can taste a toothpaste. Jealousy's a curse. Do you know what's worse? Way worse is a vice president who can't fucking pronounce the name of a town that he's pitching for. How dare you say I can't say the town's name. Okay, okay, Dougie. You pronounce the name of the town properly and I will call you boss in front of my friends and Lucinda. Bangaranjamup. No. Bangaranjamup. No. Bangaranganamum. Fuck. No. Fuck. 
Like I give a shit what those redneck hillbillies call their town. No, Dougie, they're not hillbillies. They're koala-humping inbreds. <laughs> Let me put it another way, Will. They're spittoon-swilling window lickers. Oh, well said. But I prefer wheezing bags of dung. They're ass-munching lizard lovers. You're drinking gecko molesters, eh? <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> We're back. All right, let's final this. I think we've only got one minor concern. Nothing we can't sort out, right? Are you sure you can work with a town full of slack-jawed, koala-humping, spittoon-swilling, urine-drinking, shit-eating, window-licking, low-flying, ass-munching gecko molesters? No, I didn't think so. <laughs>